Ooh, that's a good question. What was it for you? Oh, you can't throw it back at me. <laughs> I'm like, what can I think, think about? about? Um, I don't know. I think, I honestly think moving to New York and just being hey. inspired. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, I'm Michael. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, I'm Tara Hi. White. Thanks going? for joining us. <laughs> So, yeah, Ashley, so. Hi. Hi, Michael. Ashley, yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us. So, Ashley, she would be taking a picture. That was on repeat. Yeah. yeah. We take a picture. Uh, make sure to check our website. Today, this is, it's not still life, no. How would you say? How, product. Would, how would you describe product, product, product shot? Yeah. Product, 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 product shot. Product yeah. shot with a prop stylist. Tequila. Yeah, tequila. Now, now I want a prop stylist. You now can, you want everyone one? Can have yeah, can I, have I, tequila. Just, yeah. I, I want a prop She's stylist. She's the best. Now the best. I also want to he build, does painting and everything. And then I just right. go just in right. Yeah. <laughs> Terry's in the, he's in Atlanta. Right. It's not that far. Atlanta. Yeah. Cool. We'll, just we'll come to you. Oh, okay. Just cool. next door. It's just yeah. next door. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So yeah, so we have uh, one hour fifty minutes. Um, we will uh, move to the studio. Do our best. I okay. Mean, you will do your best to take the picture. I'll do my best. And we come back, Terry. Maybe we can explain the contest one more time uh, for our friends who are watching because they have an opportunity to win Creative Cloud. Yes. So how can they win Creative Cloud? They have to create and share a portrait photography, a picture. If you can play the movie, uh, Chris. Yes. Um, so you use Lightroom CC, you use a portrait that you took. Make sure to duplicate it because we want you to keep the original picture and the new one. Okay. Very important. Keep the picture. And then you can start editing the picture. Okay, you make it look good. It was in New York when we met uh, last week. This shot. Oh! Yeah. You took that? Yeah, just like uh, five minutes after. Oh my God. Yeah. And then you go on the website lightroom.adobe.com uh, where you can share a gallery, uh, a public link that you share with us. And the link will be uh, bit.li slash submit Adobe. But all the details are in the contest tab, okay? Next to the chat. So. Make sure to check the contest. And at the end, Ashley, I will ask you to choose your favorite one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot you of pressure. Your You're the judge. You get to pick. Mm. A lot of pressure. Give me power. Okay, are we ready? Ready. Are you ready to control Lightroom? I am ready. It is Okay, we're tethered. We we're tethered. And we will meet the prop stylist. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's My on. Favorite. Let's She's go. She's on auto okay. ISO. Okay. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't me. That ain't you. That ain't me, baby. Welcome to the studio. So we have two GoPros and me turn the screen so I see what's going on. Yeah, it was so far. We had to take the BART, <laughs> take the ferry, and here we are. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's for sure. Not on hey. auto. <laughs> here she is. Oh, you want to come? Oh, yeah. Yeah, come here. Get over here, girl. <laughs> so here cute. she is. Hi, hey guys. I'm yes. Michaela. Yeah, so what is your, your job? Um, I do set design and prop styling and prop building and just making the sets look beautiful so that the photographer can do their jobs easier. So what is the, um, like the, the pace? Because you have to work before, like mm -hmm. prepare, like find the objects, I guess. Find like, the objects, build anything, paint anything, but, make anything look used or dirty sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but then you also have to be here when uh, the photographer takes the picture yep. to adjust everything. Exactly. Paint more stuff. Or exactly. Yeah. Make sure there's no tags out, make sure everything's in line. Yeah. And she okay. has to understand lighting so that we can talk back and forth about what's working oh. and, and what's not working. So you need a background in, also in photography, I guess. Yeah, I'm yeah. a real Renaissance woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> She'll do a dance. <laughs> can weave stuff. <laughs> she can rap, chisel. I can't okay. rap. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe, uh, Pia, maybe we want to introduce us to uh, this amazing set. Yeah, let me so what did, to we, find a better what shot did we come here. up with? We were on the subway. <laughs> in New York. Yeah. And we were like, yo. <laughs> um, How about we shoot basketball? Basketballs. Because we love, you love basketball. I love basketball a lot. Um, I love basketball culture. I love watching the games. I grew up watching Lakers games. Sorry, Bay Area. With my dad. I know. The Warriors forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's just kind of always been a part of my, my history, my personal history. Yeah. And I also do like floral paintings of basketballs, and which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, people in the chat? 
Do you like basketball? Oh. <laughs> Do you like basketball? <laughs> Is the that a question? UNC Jordan 6S. Oh. Looks like my size. Oh. Yeah, are you a 9, bro? Robert. Oh. You a 9, Robert? Robert. <laughs> Second contest. They're <laughs> mine. They're mine. Yeah. <laughs> you actually, uh, Warbird, he's also, uh, he, um, he made the portraits. Uh, did you see in the hallway when you came? Yeah. There is an exhibition of uh, basketball players. You know, yeah. Uh, with it. That's oh. Robert. Oh. That's oh. him. Oh. What? That's the guy who cool. made the illustrations. Good job, Robert. Nice. He knows his stuff. Good job, Robert. The new UNC Jordans. Nice. one out for Robert. Yeah. If you guys don't know, Michael Jordan went to UNC. <laughs> That's where he played college basketball. <laughs> if you don't know. Sorry. Fun I'm just bad. making sure everybody knows. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay. Cool. So. So what do you have, uh, Ashley, in terms of uh, lights? What do you think? So I've got um, my one, my B1 overhead uh, with a Fotex off lighter. Uh, I figured this would be like a nice overhead light that it wouldn't be too harsh on the paint. Sometimes you get like a little bit of. Uh, okay. Let me try to show that. Yeah. Sometimes you get like some weird shine. So I'm trying to really, really soften it so yeah, that we you can, can switch. Get some. Look at that. Hey, yeah. Look at, uh, Look at you. Huge mushroom. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's one light. It's one light with, okay. I've yeah. got this other light, but uh, it's another B1 on, um, with a grid reflector and a honeycomb grid, and that's basically almost a bare bulb. And this, okay. are you going to take it out? Yeah. Yeah. Just want to show them what this is because we didn't use it today. Oh. The first time we're using it. Nice. Where are we? Here? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Honeycomb. Honeycomb grid. They come in various sizes. Okay. So uh, just so depending on what kind of light you want to spill through. Okay. And this light is dedicated to my shadow. So I'm going to be using this to look at how it's sh like creating shadow with this guy and then all of the basketballs. Mm -hmm. And then the third light is just in the back, just like general fill. I just want to make sure that we have enough exposure in That's here. This one. So, yep. Okay. And so we'll just we'll be playing with the the dy dynamics of all of these and figuring out what's the right what's the right way. That's it. Let's see. Yeah. And Let's see how it goes. 35 millimeter to really hero everything out, get really nice and close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shall I want to try? take a shot just to make sure that uh, you see other? it in Lightroom. Yep. Yes, I do. Okay. No. Nope. It's in the wire. Now it's in the wire now. <laughs> it's in the wire. It's coming. It's traveling through the matrix. <gasps> oh shit. My custom. Oh. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> you coming, Terry? We'll do it live. Don't see it. You don't see it? Okay. Shall I hit it? No? It looks like it's connected. Sometimes yeah. when you leave it on too long, yeah. cut out. Okay. So I'm gonna disconnect camera too. And then I'll reframe up anyways. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's talking. Because I can see like when you press the button. So they, they are communicating this. So. It's talking. It's talking. It's talking. It's talking. It's nice. I like talking. Okay. Let's take a shot just to make sure it's tight somewhere. Nope. It was working earlier. Remember that? Yeah. I remember that. That was there. Nothing, Terry? No. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, we see because when yep. it's, it's updating. No card. No card and camera, right? Mm -hmm. So I should be going here. Okay. And there is no setting, special setting. No. Mm -hmm. Just keep trying. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to relaunch Lightroom. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we keep taking pictures in. We'll see how it goes. It's all good. I can get up another shoe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's watch you do that. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm interested in how you did that. <laughs> did. 
think just one laces out. What do you think, Ash? Laces out, Dan. For both of them? What? Um, I kind of like... You like one clean? One in, one out. We'll see how it looks on camera. If you held Pardon? it... Pardon? Just connecting. I've never seen it do that before. I've never seen it show the camera but not turn yeah. for image. Uh, and there is no filter, you don't have anything in the view. Nope. You see, there is library field, library field. Yeah, but some yeah. not. Hold it up and let's see like what kind of angles. Yeah, I'm gonna pin, I still have to like make sure that I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, like to do one like yeah. Oh, right. that's cool. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's why we don't use them here. Oh, yeah. They're possible. Can't imagine it's making that big of a difference, though. You'd be surprised. Do you have a card you can put in? I sure do. Would that be helpful? Let's try it. Make it work. Some gun. Make it work. The squirrel on the set? No. Yeah, we try disconnecting and connecting again, Diego. Something else. Because they talk, I mean, that's the... Oh. Hey! That looks like something. So, <laughs> what that what most is likely it? is, is <laughs> that the there's a setting on the camera that it will not shoot unless there's a card in, uh -huh. oh. even though you're tethered. That's weird. I thought I'd turn that off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Terry. No problem. That's you're what the I best. Do. You're the best there is. That cool. would be Look you. Cool. That shot. Whoa. Hey. It's sick. We're done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's it. We did it. <laughs> Nailed it. We live here. All right. We got our one shot. We're good. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> let's move back to the Five <laughs> cool. So I really like the. I like my overhead fill. It feels like it's not. This guy is not doing anything too too crazy. Okay. I can tell that this guy is doing all of that. All the shadow. All of that mm -hmm. shadow. So I'm gonna play with that. Okay. I feel like that's just where we're gonna we're gonna work it out. Really. Um, maybe fill a little bit more just so that um, it feels a little bit more dynamic. Punch. A little yeah. bit more punch. Okay. But I'm liking it. Yeah. What do you like? What do you think? Would you buy these shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he would buy these shoes. Yeah. He's wearing them right now, actually. No, I'm just <laughs> no. Why are you making me look? <laughs> 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 all right. Okay, we're all set. Let's see, where do I want this? <laughs> do we have silly questions? No, they are just happy that we figure it out. And they hope there, there won't be I'm any uh, new live events such as a squirrel running. No, there is nothing. Like I think we are good now. <laughs> we can start working. Okay, cool. So Pakel is so just you, rigging this up for ah, us. Ah, also you brought uh, new lights. Actually, so. I did. These are the Profoto B ones. So these are the B ones. So we, we talked about the B ones with uh, Marla because usually she's using B ones. Because she's mobile. Because she's mobile. Yeah. Like for weddings and. You know, to, yeah. Totally. So the difference is that you can have your uh, battery? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can have a battery. Um, it takes about 200 shots before the battery runs out. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, I feel like the downside is that the, the power capacity, if you're shooting really quickly, you'll have some variation in your shots. But other than that, I think it's a really good um, <coughs> light way to, to bring lights around. So yeah. I travel with these. These come with me on planes. So nice to fit yeah. in the overhead compartment. <laughs> yeah, the passengers, they, they must really like you. When you arrive in, when you're with your equipment in the plane. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, everybody step everybody away step. while I try and like bring this up. <laughs> it's great. That looks cool.
What do you think? What are you trying to to accomplish there? Is that a question for me? Yeah, that's yeah. for you. I want to know. I can um, ask Terry, maybe. Yeah. Terry, what do you want to accomplish in life? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's accomplishing it. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to create some dynamicy. I want some movement, um, some sort of like hyper reality. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. How do you think, should I come a little bit lower, PK, to kind of like get a weirder angle? Uh, it's a little too straight on, is it not? Yeah, I think so. I feel like we want to like gear these bad boys out. Yeah. A little Amish show about guys. <laughs> what? Basketball. <laughs> So we're working with uh, three lights today. Actually, usually you, you like to work with how many lights? Yeah. I think it just depends on what's available to you and... Okay, you adapt. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had sets where I'm doing like seven lights. Just depends on like what cool. needs to happen. But, yeah, you can make it work, Tim Ben style, you know? How do you do that? Uh, yeah. I just watched the finale. Um. <laughs> So I took some small gauge wire, I can't remember what oh. gauge is, and um, shoelaces are hollow, so, cool. so you can feed it through feed it through, oh. and create some movement without and not cool. without ruining anything, so you can return the shoes. <laughs> We're not returning anything. No. No. Cool, so yeah. my light's right there, so Oops, sorry. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. the owner of the shop is not uh, is not on behance now. No, they're not. No. <laughs> we're, he's the homie, so we're good. Hey. I'm gonna That looks nice. Yeah, that looks sick. So Ooh. let's see. I wanna what are you thinking? Can we do a test of it facing a little bit more forward? Yeah, for sure. Let me see what that looks like. Hmm. I kind of liked it how you had it. I feel like that really, like, facing forward kind of like foreshortens the whole thing. It does. I, my concern is that I want to see the Jordan. Also, those basketballs are now too yeah. static. Maybe you can, maybe this guy can face me a little bit more. Yeah. So then you really, you see the Jordan on that one. Okay. And then maybe we get rid of some of the basketballs. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I don't think we need to get rid of anything. Maybe just move them around a little bit? Yeah, I think so. And then I'm going to play with this light a little bit more. So the farther away, uh, like a harsher light is, the, the more of like a shadow you'll get, the more harder shadow you'll get. OK. So I want to see what, what I can do there. Um, I like how. It's looking against the the basketball court. I just mm -hmm. want to work on the, the basketballs on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, what's your plan with those? Do you feel like you right. want to do some cool stuff? If you have time. Hmm? What? You can use the you know the shadow uh -huh. of the laces projected here. So it draws Michael Jordan in the air. <laughs> if, you have, if you have time. Make a wire sculpture of Michael Jordan <laughs> with the laces. You know I can do it. <laughs> that's next. That's a secret session later. Yeah, that's <laughs> basketball shots after hours. <laughs> thirty for thirty. <laughs> Jordan shadows. I hope there are some basketball people on this feed right now. You got one. Yeah, we can ask. Do we have uh, basketball fans on the feed? <laughs> If so, let us know which team you support or what is your favorite player. <laughs> Pekela will. Yeah. I, not only be happy know, uh, <laughs> I only know Tony Parker because he's French. I only know Tony Parker. <laughs> oh no. That's the only one I know. Um, hi, Britt. Britt's on there? Yeah. Britt! Britt! Britt. Britt. Um, like this? Britt Phillips! Yeah, Britt! <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you use tape now? What do you use? Just tape or something? Um, I use double stick tape or tack or hot glue. Oh, okay. It means hot glue is a lot. Oh, wow, that's so cute. We have a fan of uh, Reg Reggie or Reggie Miller in the Pacers. Reggie. Reggie Miller. All right. And Rob, Wizards and Warriors. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Rob. They're hazing us right now. I know. Come at me, bros. Alright, my idea. 
Okay, see. So we're we're kind of just like nailing this, by yeah. the way. I might need to get the glue gun out, though. Yes. That's cool with everybody. I'm cool with it. Are you cool with it? I'm so cool. To what? Get the glue gun out. People might want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why well, you've already need yeah. No. I'm gonna bring this still a little bit closer. I feel like I'm losing a little bit of detail on the shoes themselves, but you can always pull wax out um, okay. from product later. Is this, can you, can you do a test for me to see if that's different? Mm -hmm. So be ready because for the contest, one of the theme this week might be the shoes at some point for basketball? the viewers. Wait, Maybe. really? Maybe. Oh, that looks good. We'll see. You like, the, you like the other one? This way? Yeah, I think I do. Look at just yeah. And I feel like I want to see them closer in some way, shape, or form. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to kind of like condense the shot a little bit, because we'll end up. Can you do a test? Cropping? So yeah. I might have to. Just... Okay, it's coming. Coming. It's yeah, like it could be a hands model. <laughs> yeah, you Here should just go. be like. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they should be, and I can come closer in camera too. I feel like I just, everything needs to be tightened up a little bit. Maybe we want to be higher. Yeah? For both shoes? Yeah, I think because that kind of like... And you want me to shoot lower? Makes or the shoes more of a hero. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit in, but... I just think we should do like a interesting, like, use this as a weird perspective, you know? This, um... Yeah, so I can kind of like distort it a little bit one way or the other. Yeah. So maybe what I'll do is just, just for fun, I'm gonna take this off and just shoot off tripod okay. just so we can find the right, the right angle. I kind of like it off like a little asymmetrical, but yeah. that's not. So I'm gonna shoot three, I'm gonna go one, two, Three, yeah. and then watch watch that light right there. Okay. okay. So Terry, maybe we, we need the three shots after okay. next to each other. So it says it's busy right now, so maybe I need to take a moment. Yeah, you're not connected okay, at I'm the gonna, moment. I'm gonna move. No. Now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go one. That's one. That was one. So yeah, he will display that. And then we can set tripod and go from there. Hey yo. There we go. What one, looks? Two, three. Okay. okay. Before you share your thoughts, mm -hmm. we'll ask the chat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you okay, let's say you are you are the art director. Of, uh, no, they are. Oh, yes. For uh, the Jordan, the new model. You have to choose between one, two, and three. Let us know in the chat. One, two, or three. And we try to understand you know, the, yeah. the trends. Okay? So there is a 12 second delay, so they will start uh, choosing. Mm, hard to tell. They're very subtle. I would look at the shadows. The shadows, okay. And I would also look at. Uh, if the shoes are heroed out versus the basketballs. Oh. Okay? Yeah. So we have a lot of two. What? Hey. What? That's my least favorite. Come on. Britt <gasps> Phillips says two. Britt. Job Brit. opening. <laughs> there we go. Now some threes. There's my three people at. Give me some threes. <laughs> <laughs> big money, big money. <laughs> One dollar, Bob. I would love to see more the loops and the laces though. I can do that in Voodoo Val. I feel that. Yeah. That's you cute. Could, you could maybe do something with that bottom. Those. We have two in all languages. In French and in Spanish. I yeah. guess we don't get it. And it's between two and three. Uh-huh. I think so. I think three is winning. <clears throat> <laughs> my personal opinion because I don't love so I don't love the background so in no, two that's the only thing okay so explain uh, why why you would choose uh, one two or three um, okay I would choose three because it makes the shoes feel larger than life mm -hmm. and I like the um, I like the shape of the background 
I like the, the, the story that the background is telling. Mm. It's a little more um, dynamic. Yeah. Although I like the basketballs in one, but nobody picked one. That one's <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate one. Throw it out. Yeah. So I would have chosen two, except. <gasps> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm going to play Devil's Avocado. Um, I like two because of the shoes, but I like three because of the perspective of the background. Yeah. I feel like two is too, like, it's too flat. Yeah. Because it's straight oh, on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the perspective actually, of the background. You completely lose the. Yeah. 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 Like, you, it looks like it's just like it's a like flat. A cross. Yeah. yeah. So we have to. Hmm. It's cool because we, we get to play with these three variables that are kind of working against each other, I would say. Mm -hmm. So it's. I would say three. So that was me getting lower, right? Yeah. Yep. That's lower. the lowest. Sick. Are you right on the horizon line? Yeah. Right? Of the basketballs? So I would say I'm going to go back on tripod and then maybe if you could play with the laces a little bit more. Okay, sorry. That's this, right. The chat room is lit right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna pin this one down Kay. so that it stops moving so much. Um, do we like seeing the shape, like the side of it? Yeah. And again, like if you want to do an alternate where this has laces coming out, these this this shoe has laces coming out too. That might be nice. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like you have room in the shot. Um, but it's completely not necessary. It might just be nice to try. You're talking about here? Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Unless you feel like it doesn't help. Um, if time is permitting, I mean, it does take 30 seconds per lace, but... We'll time you. Yeah. This is a we'll let you know. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going okay. back on tripod now that we've, we've chosen. Yeah. Thanks um, for the feedback. Also the people in the chat. My glue gun. Okay. <laughs> and hope it doesn't melt though. How much more time do we have? Okay, it's 35 and we should get back to Terry at... Uh, on the hour? 10, yeah, on the hour, or maybe 5 or 10 minutes after. Max. Okay, okay, cool. That's easy. So we have like, let's say 30 minutes. Oh. Okay. Too much time. <laughs> We're going to do another <laughs> shot. Je vous en prie. Yeah, let's do it in French from now on. Wow. Oui. D'accord. Okay. You can teach me French in 30 minutes? In 30 minutes? No. <laughs> That's cool. I don't Maybe the that. basics of photography in French? In French. <laughs> the basics the of basics photography in French. <laughs> I just know the Muzzy commercial, so. <laughs> just see that. Just me. <laughs> okay. Have you seen that? I don't know. No, you don't. Muzzy? Oh, it was Muzzy. like a of English program that teaches kids oh, French. Okay. And it was this cool little cartoon and there was like monsters dancing across. Anyways. Tangent. Speaking of tangents, no, I'm just kidding. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> We're too good. We can't. Just make a tangent so we can talk about it. Okay. What's up? Well, I mean, we can talk about like the placement of the basketballs and stuff, but I haven't. Yeah, let's talk about that. Nailed it down yet. Because I want to be careful that I'm not. Why don't, can, we, can you see through camera? Maybe we can do a little thing. Yeah, like hitting the line weird or something. Do you just for? The oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, You're gonna be blocking coming. the light, but. So they want to know if you prefer uh, create like set up custom scenes like this in studio, or you prefer to go outdoor. Yeah. What question. do you like? Uh, these kinds of setups. I think it depends on what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I always say that you can't beat natural light. So if you need some, if this has to look more like natural light, you should bring it out in natural light, yeah, and then out. and then bolster it with uh, with strobes. Okay. But yeah, just like depending on what you're what you're trying to do. I love natural light. It's my favorite. I think they're all. So just deciding. Like, yeah. It's gonna so she's got the glue gun. Got the pins. Everybody, step away. <laughs> no way. I oh, yeah. Yeah, also hazards of the job. Prop stylists can rip their skin open very easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was easy. Don't move. Don't. Nobody break. Professional. Um, this is out of the shot, though. It's 
It's in the shot now. Yeah. Let's see how that tan, all those tangents are looking. Ooh. What Your happened? shoe stopped. Perfectly. Moving exactly when you took the picture. It was amazing. That's how we do. Voodoo yeah. Val, you like that loop? <laughs> <laughs> the loop is for you, Voodoo Val. <laughs> I'm wondering about the basketballs in the back corner. Yeah, I feel the same way. That's it's just like it's like what's going on. It's like a little kid soccer or something. Yeah, I just like can't tell. And I wa I love that I I love that the shoe is like barely touching that one, but yeah. I feel like it's not doing it justice by having those things in the back. Yeah, you know, it's like not like heroing out totally. that you've done that. So I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for you, buddy. <laughs> Um, let's see if that is like pretty awkward. Wait, what did Britt say? I think it's okay that way. The basketballs don't take away from the hair of the image, which are the shoes. Yeah, because they're so dark. Yeah. I would agree, but I think that they can look better. Yeah. Can we do a test and yeah. see how that? Absolutely. Spatial. Right. Sorry, the light. The light. <laughs> Cool. Here we go. Yeah, that's, that's looking a, a lot better. better. Yeah. I almost wonder if you hold one in the foreground so that it just, uh, you know, like how it it could cut off. Like you could take another one from the, the box here and like even hold it up, like right here, so it yeah. like plays off the edge. Maybe that would be really weird though. It could be cool though. That's right. Could also be super weird. Stop. Oh, that down. How far? So I just want to create a little bit of space and some breathing room because all those three basketballs in the front are on the same plane. Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to try? Try, try holding a basketball like right there. You do your thing where you like lay down. Right. Don't move. Uh, I see your thumb. There you go. <laughs> just, just bear with me on this. Hear me out. Eh. It's alright. It's, it's alright. Maybe less of it. So it can I see that? I was thinking higher. Mm. Try it. I mean, but now I just want to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's. Too okay, cool. my question is do I need to. Do I need to pull my frame out? Is it looking weird with the, the key being cut off? Because I want to get close to the basketballs. So is it okay? What, I'm sorry, what are you doing? You want to zoom in? Do you think that. Or maybe this this scenario needs to like collapse in a little bit. Or is it okay? You okay with that? No. Because I'm cutting off this, and I don't know if it's like the three point line. Creating yeah, creating our own little tangent. The Clay Thompson sweet spots for the <laughs> Golden State Warriors fans. It sounded so pro. The three point line. <laughs> yeah, we talk technical around here. <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't we try it on one side? Okay. And see if that does anything. Beep. Cool. Light should still be fairly good. I might just fly this over. I actually feel like maybe now that's a little bit. You want to oh, no, you're fine. Either way? Yep, you're good. Oh, Sorry. It's okay. It's just everything is going to be trapped. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's give it a shot. That. that might be cooler. Might not be. So I really want to play with the perspective. Mm. Did yeah, that through? looks great. No. Terry, we might need to. Can you check if we are still uh, tethered? Oh, that wasn't the newest one? I'm not sure. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that looks great. Like, oh, yeah, much better. <laughs> How about now? Okay, let's do it. Hey. Ah, here we go. What's up? Can we see that in relation to the last one? Before or just a switch uh, before after? What do you think? Well, I really miss the ball at the bottom now. Right, I th I'm just looking at the. Um. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like we are at the stop. eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> one or two, or one or two. <laughs> one or two. One or two. Two. I feel like three. I fail at. The eye doctor. It's a really stressful I'm like, situation. I don't know. I actually don't know now. Give me glasses. Uh, I think I like it open, actually. All right. I don't know. 
Yeah. What do you guys think? What does the group chat think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one or two. Yeah. Light up that we like can you choose. <laughs> <laughs> and this time we will follow your lead. So the difference is that uh, yeah, the panel is a little bit more open, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. The first one. We just close the angle. Close, yeah. like closing a book. Making it a little more acute. Yeah. Let us know wh which one you prefer, one or two. And it's not uh, a huge difference. And, and just judge the panels, okay? Not the uh, because there was one uh, missing basketball. Number one. Uh, Negar, of course, you had to say two. What? What? The narrow? They're saying narrow? That's 50-50. Oh. 1.5, okay. Let's pick the 1.5. <laughs> one and a half. Um, Great. This makes it so one, easy. Two. Okay, they, 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 the they, don't, they don't want to choose the for shoe on, on the left. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, like seeing the, t the middle tangent now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That was nice. My video is getting frozen. Oh, sorry, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I like the perspective on the open more. Yeah, I, I think prefer it, you. Right? Yeah. So maybe open it back up and then let's... So one? Okay. Let's go back to one. And what I've just done as well is I've turned down my fill light and I'm turning up uh, the light that creates, that casts the shadow because I want it, I want a little bit more of it. So we'll see how that pans out. Oh, the glow gun's ready. I can smell it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Once we have, actually, let me open this up a little bit more. Let's try that guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, shooting. Yeah. yeah, much better. Yeah. And I like the sh the shadows just a little bit more. That looks yeah, pretty that, good. Yeah, the back of the right shoe tangent to the middle line is yeah. gonna bother me crazy. So I'm gonna scoot them closer so they're a little bit, they're, they have a little bit of a better relationship. Okay. Hopefully that that makes the back heel break that tangent. Yeah, I would say I love how this shoe is casting like a harder shadow just because it's closer. Yeah. So maybe by doing that, you're going to get a little bit more yeah. on that. Let's try that. Okay. And are you happy with how it's facing me? Oh, okay. hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I got to pin that down. Okay. I just shot it as it was moving around. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, that tangent's way better. Way better. And that shadow looks great. Yeah. Okay. I'm into that. Let's see. Okay. Oh. You still need the uh, two views, or you prefer to have the. Let's just go one. back to one. Yeah. That'd be great. Terry, can we go back to the sure. single view? Thanks. Mm -hmm. What do you need? You have a flag? The flag, like a French flag? <laughs> <laughs> uh. You wish. What? Um, I thought I saw like a, a net, but it's okay. We're fine. This. Mm, it's like this, but not solid. I'm sure then. They're all good. Those are solid. <coughs> yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, I might, I might do a pass just in case. I feel like the basketballs, I could take a notch down on them, so I might just flag it for one and see how that looks. So how would you do that? So you take a shot and then I'll block some of the light basically. Ah, uh, for the shadows? Yeah, just uh, take a stop down and okay. then um, in Photoshop or Lightroom you can you know, work with that just to make sure it's all, all good. Good? Yeah. And then it's like the less, oh yeah, on the left, merge mm -hmm. with the better. With the original line, yeah, in front of us. Totally. Yeah. What's happening? We were talking about the laces. Yeah, though. the lace, like uh, merging with the line. You know, don't oh, this the, guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, this guy's next. We got this guy figured out. Now we're good. Nice. And you can even look it through my viewfinder to make sure it's doing what you want it to do, since it's kind of a weird angle.
So how do you fix the wire? Another shoe. Um, I put a pin it's in a the pin. bottom. Okay. It's not strong enough. <laughs> no, my I can't get my loop small enough. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers. Get out of here. Everybody's watching. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Like a lot more so where did you I find the, the basketballs? Um, on the internet. It's this okay. thing called. And, and they came like this, or they were? No, I spray painted them. Oh, you spray yeah, they oh, were okay. like all different colors, colors. like oh, team really? colors. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Celtics. The life of a prop stylist: <laughs> inhaling Stop chemicals, yeah, uh, <laughs> varying so chemicals. much brain damage. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's good for her creativity. You know. Sure. To have a uh, brain, brain damage. damage. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about that? Do you need some gap? Um, I have some. Can I grab you some? I just want to make sure. Let's do. Let me get it ready. Let's do a test. Okay. Um. So I can see if I like that. Okay. Okay. We've got the clock, so it's 1:50. Yeah, we have about 20 minutes max. Oh, okay. 15, 20 minutes. We got this. So tell me when. No, you're fine, you're fine. This is just for the position of the shoe. This is not for lighting. Ooh. I want to She's like diving. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's looking nice, like though. Like floppy, bloody do Do you guys remember the, or the Sacramento Kings? Yes. And they had bloody do and he was like a theater major slash basketball player. So, okay, I like this better, I think. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Watch the light. So you saw earlier Rob generate the third. He was in the chat, and uh, he was also one of the guests of Adobe Live, mm -hmm. the illustrator. And in about 10 minutes, we will give away to someone in the chat a uh, poster like prints, and one of the prints yeah, has that. been created by yeah, Rob Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, look at that. I really so like that. be active in the chat. In about 10 minutes, we will pick someone. Let's see, hi, ask questions. Nick! Oh my god! Nick Longo, he's a packaging designer. Oh, hi Nick! And uh, he was live with us too and he's like, oh my god, look at this setup, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <So I'm trying. laughs> okay, I'm trying to get Val that loop again, so let's wait for this to stop. Okay, shooting. I'm also gonna No, fly. I don't like that top laces. What's it Well, doing? I can't tell really, I guess. You <laughs> can't tell if you like it. No, I'm just gonna do one. Ooh. No! <laughs> no, I hate the lace. You hate the lace? Yeah. She hates the lace. It's fine. It's messy. It is messy. What have you done? I'm gonna fix it. I believe in you. Once we get real, like Mamba, like Black Mamba. Sorry, you guys, there's so joining. much basketball <laughs> reference <laughs> happening. <laughs> so, Islam, we are with her. Ashley, she's taking a picture of and see it's two shoes flying. Black Mamba. Kobe. Does Kobe. Calls himself though. What? Kobe calls him. He calls himself that. You think so? It's like the episode of Seinfeld where George tries to get T-Bone as the nickname. <laughs> okay, so I see a little bit of a tangent. Do you? What's going on? Yeah. So Was that the group chat? <laughs> Sorry. So if you look at the top lace, it's it's skimming the oh yeah the point the three point three point line. line. Now we can keep it technical. No, let's keep now. it technical. Yeah, let's keep I it technical. I would appreciate that. <laughs> I think it's still doing it, so watch out. Is it? Yeah. Look at my viewfinder when you're ready. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. So these are things that we look for when we're, we're shooting um, any sort of thing, is things that are distracting from the image. And when this is called a tangent, when it's something that overlaps just enough that it's, it looks like it extends forever, or mm. I just feel like that's where my eye goes. So I don't want that in any shot. I see. Yeah. Gucci? Maybe. I, yeah, let's try it one more time. Okay, push the light. 
Thank you. Yeah, I agree with Adam Fox. What? We need some colored laces. Yes. <laughs> yes, Kimmy. Nothing but net. Um, I think you could pull that lace in a little bit. The, it's looking like it's gonna fall yeah, off, go the, off. How much space do we have? This is also something that I do zhuzh for hours. Yeah, and then we get the one shot. So I think that that second lace is going to touch the half court line. Yeah. So maybe just like crinkle it up just a little bit. Okay. I feel like we're pretty close to the... We're very top. close because that top lace is looking good now. Jeremy wants to know what Terry's doing back there. You're, you're quiet. He's taking it. He's out. ready. He's ready. <laughs> Live Terry. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. How's that looking from the viewfinder? Um, take a look for me. I think it's like it's just it's just in the that realm that it needs a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I know. It just needs the tiniest bit. I'm gonna take one more look. Oh, because they're almost touching there? Yeah, that's why I kind of want to get this one to go. Maybe just make it a lot lower then. So then it just goes through that. Okay, let's see what I just did. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Maybe I ruined everything. No, well, you didn't. But I think it's going to be a... Uh... It's going to be a dope shot. Hey. All right. That's pretty good. Almost mm -hmm. there. It's so close. I like how the curve of the lace matches the curve of the... Oh, yeah. So Mark is asking, do you use the live view on the back of the camera? No. I don't. Why not? No. I do that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll do a, a live... Oh, Lord. That's like, like a fourth time. When I'm tethering, sometimes I'll do it live so <laughs> people so can bad. see. Yeah, we should put a sandbag on it. <laughs> sorry. Hazard on the set. I know. I have too many things to think about. I know, I'm sorry. Other than people's safety. <laughs> <laughs> or or safety my career. Third. <laughs> safety third, yeah. Okay, I gotta bring that up and then I think we got it. Okay, cool. That up and that down. Do it! Sure. That up and that down. No, Someone wants the shoes. No. Or you can give me two hundred dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of. Are you gonna rig it? Yeah, because I didn't put any. Do it. Any wire in it. Or in the end of that one. So we're just gonna rig the end of the the lace up to the C stand. So that it kind of like oh, okay. dips up. And then I have lots of fun editing to do. <laughs> How, how's everything else in the shot right now? I like it. Are we good? Are we like good with the basketball? Is good with the. Yeah, it's, it has really nice the balance. Placement. Yeah. The shadow looks good. Um, I think it's really just the laces, and then we'll go into editing mode. Hi Jeremy, thanks uh, for joining us, first live stream. So, for a moment, so we take the shot and Jeremy, yeah, we will transition in about five to ten minutes to join uh, Terry and work on some editing of this shot. What's good is that in this case, you know it will be the last one. Yeah. You know, it's not like uh, taking, uh, I don't know, like uh, 50 pictures of the portrait and you have to select again. Mm -hmm. you, know, yep. you go step by step to to create your picture. Totally. And for me, I'm a, I'm a very physical shooter, so it's actually pretty hard for me to shoot on a tripod, but I think for things like this, mm. it's really important so that you could look shot by shot and 
this frame doesn't move, but the things on set do. Oh, I see. So it is nice to, to have that as an option. Have you tried uh, stop motion? Oh, yeah. Yeah? For sure. Oh, okay. Those are great. What did you do? I've done um, quite a bit, actually. Huh? Yeah, actually, there's one that we just did. Um, we just did a gift guide, and we had things moving like there was an airplane, and we had the um, the propellers rotating in the shot. And obviously, that works best when you're on a tripod. So, <laughs> or lipsticks, and they were kind of like moving Not around moving the frame. Yeah, nice. it's really fun. Oh, ah! <laughs> It's so curly, it's not straight. <laughs> you want to tape it instead? To the C-stand? Oh no, I'm talking about this. Oh. The, um... When do I get to pick winners? That's like what I care about. That's what I came for. The what? Winners. Pick winners? Oh, pick winners? Yeah, yeah, it will be at the end, don't worry. So yeah, Please keep sharing your pictures. Best. By the way, the theme of the day is portrait. So we want you to uh, use Lightroom and uh, share with us the before and after, yeah, okay? Before and after editing. Here. All the rules are in the contest tab. And uh, you still have 30 minutes to share your pictures during this show. Yeah, and Ashley, she will pick her favorite one. At the end of the show, you can get a chance to win Creative Cloud. Okay. Okay, the lace it's ooh. So close. This is this is a tangent right here. What is? Uh the tip of the bottom. The lace. bottom one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I think that was it. This is it. That's so it? Okay. That's the one? Hold on. Hold, just wait. Oh my You'll goodness. know. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> Christmas okay. came early. You got it? Yeah, I feel good. You feel good about feel that? Good? I mean, we'll never I feel, feel good great. About yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job. All right. Okay, so. Okay, be active in the chat for the next uh, two, three minutes. Okay, we give away some prints and uh, it gives us uh, time to actually to, to join Terry. Perfect. Okay. I have to run a mile to get there, but you know, I'll do it really quick. <laughs> Ten minutes or less? Seven thirty. Seven What's minutes, your PR? eighteen seconds. It's so fast. Okay, PR baby. Right, I'm turning the model in. Turning off. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, PK. Yeah, good job. <laughs> so if you hold down on the white, um, it goes do 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 do. Oh, good. Hey Terry! What's up? Yeah, be active in the chat. You can win these illustrations by Rob Zilla, oh, hey. Christine Neary. I'm so excited to do this with you. And uh, Jing Wei. Terry? Wow, I'm a little sweaty. And Terry will announce the winners in about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's about two minutes. Are we off? Okay. We are off. We're okay, off. okay. Okay, Terry. All right. Your turn. Let's take it away. So, did you have fun? I did have fun. Good. I, I gotta ask, were the were the laces held up by the string, or were they just like pipe cleaner or wire or something? So a little bit of both. A little bit of both. So okay. she she created a little incision in the in the laces and put uh, wire through it, Very and sneaky. then we also used the fishing wire to. What, is that fishing wire? Not a so it's fishing wire stretches. So not stretchy. Got it. Clear wire to right. like rig it a little bit more. Awesome. Yeah. And so, as Michael said, um, basically this was this was unlike a portrait shoot where you're maybe trying to get three or four different shots. This was trying to get the shot. Yes. And of course, the last one is most likely it. Right. right. And sometimes <laughs> so. we'll be shooting um, we'll be shooting different versions that will end up comping together. Ah, that makes sense. Right. So right, because you might like one the shoe in one the right shoe on one and the left shoe on the other one. Yep. And composite them together. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you can't you can't rack enough focus. So maybe I'll want the shoes to be super focused as well as the background as well as the the basketballs. And so we would focus on all of them and then comp that together. Or some things would be too bright, so we can add that in in Photoshop later. Okay. But so for this one, it was pretty since it was more or less monochromatic. We were able to 
work within those parameters and get the one one shot. So in the case where you might do a composite, um, do you just keep all the shots until you have the one finished, the one oh, yeah. you want, and that way then you get rid of the rest? Yeah, you okay. can always go back. Um, a lot of people will take a plate, so sometimes, and that means just taking a, a photo of just the backdrop, and so then yeah. you can use that as your first variable and you can play with that. So maybe I didn't like where the shoes were in one shot, but I liked their angle, so I could take that shoe and place it on the plate of, of the it. backdrop. All right. So for those of you who have who were here earlier, you've heard this this um, description twice already. For those of you who are just joining us for this session, uh, I'll just give a quick technical background of what we did to get the shots into the computer uh, as she was taking them. So we have uh, Lightroom Classic CC running and Lightroom CC running. I'll, I'll explain the difference between the two in a moment. But for Lightroom Classic CC, which has built-in tethering, uh, I just simply, enabled it from the file menu. As a matter of fact, it's still enabled. Um, and once it, once it was enabled, I just simply, or actually, as I was setting it up, let me explain that. As I was setting it up, I not only had it, ooh, I didn't have it. I was supposed to have because we rebooted it a couple yeah. times. But normally, I would have it also go into a collection, and that collection would get synced with Lightroom Mobile. And we have a winner. Uh, Joe, Joe McLean, welcome. Thank you. You win. You won three prints wow. from Robzilla, I believe. Hey. Congratulations. <laughs> so, um, with this collection turned on and syncing to Lightroom Mobile, as she was taking the shots, the shots would have also been syncing to the cloud as well. Since that did not happen, <laughs> let's go ahead, turn this, or stop, um, stop tethering for now. And I'm just gonna simply take all the shots drag them into that collection, so awesome. all 27, and they will sync to Lightroom Mobile, but that's okay, I don't have to wait for that, um, because I really want the high-res, full-resolution raw files into Lightroom CC. Mm -hmm. So um, the process we had done the first two times, they would sync as she was shooting, once, and once uh, they would come to the table, then I would just simply switch over to Lightroom CC and add them, so I get the high-res versions, I'm just going to do it anyway because that's what we ultimately want. So with that said, let's pop over to Lightroom CC, which is our new version. This was the album from the last session. Here's the one of the ones coming in now as as she, um, as we just added those into that collection in Lightroom. So Lightroom CC can talk to Lightroom Classic using the same cloud, in other words, mm -hmm. but the biggest difference is the ones coming from Classic are only smart previews. We want those raw files. So what I'm gonna do to get those raw files in is just simply add photos. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and browse to a folder and we're just gonna go to your folder that I set up, which is the Ashley folder. Mm -hmm. And those are the 27 raw, 27 raw files. We'll just go ahead and review. And this is not going to duplicate them. And what it's gonna do instead is just simply replace the smart previews with these. So that way we have the 27 shots um, that you took. So now if I were to click on one of these uh, and go to the info tab, it will tell me that the original file is local. The smart preview is what's in the cloud because that's the one that came over from Classic. But that smart preview will get ultimately synced as we see all the little blue sync circles with the high-res one. We don't have to wait for that. We can now just go ahead and begin our editing process. Awesome. All right. Long, I know, technical, maybe even somewhat boring description of how that all works, but we get that question all the time. Can I have both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC on the same computer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can they work together? Yes, we just did it. Um, do they conflict with each other? No. You, so we just kind of did that all day today. So let's go to, I believe this is our last one. Correct That's me right. if I'm wrong. Is that it? No. That might be the first. That might be the first. So this might be a reverse order. Yep. That must be the last one then. Looks like it. Okay. And um, what, I, I'm like just your arms on the computer. So what, since you know how you like to edit, what would you do? 
Um, well, I definitely want to pull out some detail on the shoes. Okay. So I think you were doing it a little bit earlier. But I was. I played with those three because people kept playing. These shoes are all dark. I know. Well, that's what usually that. happens is uh, yeah. those will always read a lot darker. Um, and if that was my whiny voice, I was just joking. <laughs> you weren't whining. You were pointing out something that was technically correct. No, it's totally true. All right. So let's go in. Uh, like I was telling people earlier, I like to jump in and first... Um, set the lens correction for that particular shot, which didn't make a huge difference here, but yep. we can then go in and pull out some shadow detail maybe? Yep. All right. That would be great. And feel free to interject or tell me when or too much or back off. That's looking pretty good right there. All right, right about let's there. Let's start there. Okay. Um, What's next? Let's, uh, let's add a little bit of, of clarity as well. Ooh, I love clarity. Me too. Clarity Especially for products. Yeah. Okay, and you can go, by the way, so these sliders usually all start at zero, which means you can do a negative. Mm -hmm. And when, since I shoot mostly portraits, I'm usually doing plus clarity on uh, male subjects and minus clarity on female subjects. So it makes the male subjects uh, features more defined and rougher looking. And for female subjects, I'm either gonna not use it or make the skin smoother by making less. So just to show you the extremes, that's, zero or that's a negative 100 clarity where now everything's kind of getting soft and almost ghost like mm -hmm. and then that's too much clarity Way too much. where it's just too too much and and if you are wondering how will i know if it's too much if your eyes start to bleed it's <laughs> probably too much all right so you tell me when you want to what you want to dial this into and i can take numbers as well yeah or you can just use the slider i think that's Actually, looks pretty good at 19. 19? Yeah. All right, 19 it is. Thank you. All right, what's next? Let's do some color. Ooh, color. What do you want to do? Let's, um, I want to see what we can do in terms of the white balance first. I want to see that. I'd love to see what it's at. So, because she shot in raw, we get the choice to choose a white balance preset. We can sample from a gray card if there were one in the shot, or we can just simply use the, the sliders. Yeah. So, your choice. So, I typically put it to 5200 just to see what it looks like at daylight. All right. That's 5200 Kelvin. Uh-huh. That's looking pretty good. Um, now, why 5200? Why, why daylight? Um, I just like to start there. I feel like that's just like my Because my this process. would technically like be like an outside shot, so yeah. you want it to look like it was outside. Totally. Got it. Um, I also know that my personal style and preference is to shoot is to end up shooting a little bit cooler for oh, things. Okay. So then I like to then bring it back a little bit and just see how that looks. And I just use the slider and when it's, when it's too far, it's too far. When it's you too know? far, you'll know. Yeah, you'll know. All right. So let's just bring it a little bit cooler. I would love to see what that, cool. what that looks like. Just say more or less. Let's keep going. I just more. want to know. You gotta go. More. Yep. Okay, that's too much. Too much. Yep. Back off. Let's back off. Let's back off. Right about, right about there. Let's go really warm. I just want to see what that looks like. Ooh. See, See how the basketballs are getting really, really orange? So they look I, like oranges almost. I know. So the thing is about that is I love how the background looks, but I don't like how the basketballs look. Okay, so, so now color. what you could do... Some selective color? Selective color. Shall Here we do go. that? Shall we do that? I think so we where should. do you want to start? Where do you, you want to have the overall photo cooler and dial in the basketballs or the other way around? What do you think is a, a better route? Well, you, you typically want to do the global adjustment on what's going to... What, what's what you need to do the majority of the photo with. Right. So if you just want the basketballs warmer, I would probably go cooler for the whole shot uh -huh. and then warm up the basketballs. Mm. I would say I want the basketballs warmer too, right? Is yeah, because that that's what you said. Well, when we went warmer, what did you like about this? I love the background. The background. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah. the background was warmer. All right, so then in that case... Let's just do the basketballs. I would do the basketballs uh, cooler. Yeah. All right, all right. I misunderstood you. Okay. So is that about right? Or yeah, that looks want? great. Okay, so now what we'll do is a local adjustment just for the basketballs. So we'll grab the adjustment brush. Um, we can, of course, use temperature to go the other way. And now even, you know, you can dial it in first. You can start using the brush first and then dial it in after. It, it doesn't really matter which order you do it in. Um, I typically like to go overboard so that I can see where I'm painting yeah. and then dial it back down. 
All right, so we'll just go in, make the brush a little smaller. And see, like I can barely see that, mm -hmm. but that's okay. We'll be able to use the sliders to see it as we go. And this is what I meant by, I usually go overboard. I didn't go overboard enough because I can't see a big difference. So that makes it harder to see what you missed. But there's an easy way to fix that. <laughs> by just going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> see, oh my God. with exposure, I get to see what I missed. <laughs> I missed quite a bit. And then, of course, I'll take the exposure back down. Mm -hmm. Once I get it all painted in. Nice. Yeah, it really felt like I, was, I had covered the whole <laughs> thing. I had done nothing. <laughs> Well, it's nice that you're able to see it now. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just too tentative. And I'm using the Wacom Cintiq and using a stylus to actually do this. A lot faster and easier than the mouse. <clears throat> and in Lightroom Classic CC, you actually have pressure support. All right, so now that I've pretty much covered the areas, I can put the exposure back down to zero. When I say zero, I mean zero. <laughs> and then of course, now we can play with the temperature all day long. So awesome. that would be warmer basketballs, mm -hmm. oranges, or cooler, it's your choice. Let's go cooler and then let's, uh, let's work on the color okay. of them as well. Yeah, so even though you originally targeted one adjustment, like in this case, temperature, you have all the rest of the sliders, you can keep going. So once you paint your mask once, um, you can adjust anything. So you want to, what do you want to use for color? You want to use the, well, you know what? I like to see the saturation in this case, just curious. That's looking nice actually. Yeah, just a little bit more saturation. Mm -hmm. I like that. Maybe a little clarity on that too, huh? Ooh, can't, you can never have too much clarity unless it's a person. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't. Actually. Right, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Easily. See, too oh, much. See yeah. how that is? Too much? Right too there. much. Yeah, that's looking good. It gets too crunchy otherwise. Yeah, let's bring it down just a little bit more. Okay. About like 27. Okay. Okay. Um, that's looking pretty good. Maybe, should we play with a little bit of cropping as well? Absolutely. A little comp recomposition. I'd love to see what it looks like in a 4x5. You're like the second person to say that today. Uh, magazines, five, baby. Four by five and Instagram, Instagram portraits. If you've ever like mm -hmm. taken a portrait and it's like it's forcing you to crop the top and bottom off four because it wants a four by five. Yeah. All right, so that's the four by five aspect ratio. I'm assuming you want to see the basketballs. Mm -hmm. Maybe down to there or maybe split the difference. Yeah. Let's we'll see what yeah. that looks like. All right. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay. Cool. And we have non-destructive cropping. So if, I, if she decided to change that, I just go back in the crop and move it. So, awesome. Not a problem. That looks great. Anything else you wanna you wanna work on over here? Um, maybe think? before we hit the Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'd like to see the overall image, maybe. Okay. Just a little bit more contrasty. Yeah, maybe take so up the brightness a little bit. that's too much. Exposure a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too much. Yeah, let's keep it down. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Alright. Awesome. Anything else? I think that's good for now. Okay. Now, one more adjustment we could make mm -hmm. are the targeted adjustments. Like, so for example, we have all the colors that are in the image here. So if you just, again, wanted to change the oranges, you could adjust the color of orange just with the slider. Yeah, and it's that. automatically detecting everything that's orange in the image. You don't want to do that, but <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe on the yellows, just a little bit more saturation, mm -hmm. just a hair. Yep, I like that. Maybe just like 10. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. Perfect. Let's right. do it. No problem. 
Okay, so again, we can keep making adjustments all day long, but at some point, if you need to go to Photoshop, you make as much of the adjustment as you can non-destructively in Lightroom CC, so this becomes your non-destructive, non-destructed <laughs> original. Now when you head over to Photoshop, it's actually gonna make a copy of this with the edits to take over to Photoshop to do all your fine tuning. All right, so let's do that. Let's go up to the file menu. Let's edit in Photoshop, which is the same command E that's in Lightroom Classic. So it's making that copy right now. And as long as you keep Lightroom CC open, it will return the Photoshop edited version and stack it with the original. Awesome. All right, what do you want to do? Well, I would love to start with some cleanup. So I would love to take out the, the, take wires, out the wires and anything okay. that shouldn't be in the shot. All right, that makes sense. Because uh, again, this is what I, what I described in the last session. You got to get rid of the stuff that distracts you because you can't see anything else until that stuff's gone. All right, so my tool of choice for this would be the Spot Healing Brush. Nice. Probably a little bit bigger brush, so I don't have to work as hard. <laughs> Let's make that brush bigger. And you'll be tempted in a lot, of t a lot of cases when you're doing edits in Photoshop in general to try and do all of it in one stroke. Mm -hmm. But then that means the more you do and you mess up at the end, when you undo, you undid all of the good stuff too. So in the case of that wire, it was just easier trying to do it in two strokes instead of one or even three because I got to get this part underneath. Mm -hmm. This happened to me too many times. Here, there. Magician over here. I've done this before. <laughs> despite what they tell you. <laughs> this one might be a little challenging because mm -hmm. it's right on the uh, edge there. So again, we do this in pieces. Get rid of that piece first. And I'm chickening out instead of getting that one next. I'll go for the easy one. Nice. The low hanging fruit. While I contemplate how hard is that one gonna be. All right, so I'll come back over. Get this out, and where it wraps around, good, good, good. Now I'm starting to sweat. It's like, okay, let's do this in pieces. Not bad. Pieces. Nice. Pieces. Once you get rid of the edges, then the middle's easy. What do you think? That's that's great. All right. And let's go to this one. Now this one is probably, well, maybe not. I was going to say it'd probably be safe to do this one all the way down, but. You never know. Why risk Sometimes it? Sometimes it picks up other things. Yeah. Yep. Especially with that shadow. Right. That's yeah. why I stopped at the shadow. Totally. You've been here before. You've done this. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> This is where I live sometimes. Uh huh. I can tell. <laughs> she cringed a second ago. <laughs> good, good, good. How's the chat looking? I've been checking. People asking anything? Wow, it looks better zoomed in. Cool. Thanks, Jeremy. Even though I did nothing. That's a compliment for you, Ashley. What's up? Jeremy says, wow, that looks better zoomed in. Did you have doubts while it was zoomed out? Who, me? No, him. Probably. Probably did. We proved them wrong. I know, right? All right, let's, ooh, I didn't see that wire down there. So many. So many, but they, hey, they made the shot. Not the same tool. After this, I'll probably, we'll probably check for like dust and yep. all that fun stuff too. Cool. You know. Hey. Gussy them up. Perfection. Hopefully you didn't make your job too hard. Hey, that's what I'm for. <laughs> Actually, I like a challenge. I don't like a challenge for no reason. So, <laughs> luckily, you did everything right in the camera. 
make my job easier. Good. That's what I mean by a challenge for no reason, like stuff that could have been fixed in the camera. <laughs> So much faster and easier with the tablet. Yeah, that's such a nice setup. I really like it. It's hard, much harder to do this with a mouse. Do you have this at home too? I do. Oh. Can't live without it. I love it. I love how the wire picks up the color behind it. It's really yeah, cool. That is nice. Good choice of wire. Wherever Your wire is making my job easier. Welcome. <laughs> because it is picking up the color behind it, which makes the blending much easier. It's just like no problem. Yeah, definitely. All right. You know better. Was there wire up here? Did I miss anything? Nope. Um, just underneath the basketball, there's some. Uh, there's some tack right there. Uh, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> You're not supposed to say good luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're going to do great. I'm here oh, for support. Oh, now the support comes yeah, in. No, yeah, I'm here. I'm out of here. Good <laughs> luck. Good luck with that. I'd like to see how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I could get used to this. <laughs> okay, so in a, in a challenging case like this, the problem is the tack is touching the basketball. So if I try and use the spot healing brush, what will tend to happen is stuff like that. It just blurs, it just doesn't do a good job. So um, what we can do instead is we switch over to our patch tool and we switch the patch tool to content aware. Content mm -hmm. aware is blends in less. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Content aware blends in less, but it um, does a much more accurate job, especially with edges. That's what it's for. So again, I might want to do this in pieces. Nice. Where I can Steady then, hands. and then I'll blend. Well, the stylus makes all the difference in the world. That's why I asked Chris for the Cintiq, and he graciously brought it down from wherever it lives. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, so now we'll blend it in. Oh, patch, same patch tool, but we we'll switch back to normal. Because mm -hmm. now we don't have to worry about the edges anymore. Beautiful. And we just blend those shadows right in. That's great. There we go. Right. Perfect. That is where that come from. Paint. Paint. Uh, you know. Can't get it. When you zoomed in, you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't show me again. I know. Uh, you see every little thing when you zoom in. Yeah. All right. Like I'm seeing this, even though I'm not zoomed in. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's all right. And let's go back to spot healing brush. Get that out of here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, wrong way. There we go. Nice. Perfect. All right. How's the chat doing? How are we doing? Adobe Magic. It is Adobe Magic. I missed a spot. I probably missed more than one. <laughs> All right. I just saw some just like, I don't know what these are, but zoomed out. They kind of look like this. Mm-hmm. Little things. Yeah, and on the shoe, just um, there's some dust details mm -hmm. that we'll want to clean up for a final. No, do you, do you do what I'm doing or do you use a filter or when you have dust like this? Um, or do you get it piece by piece like I'm doing? I go piece by piece, yeah. Sweet. Sometimes I do dodge and burn depending oh, on if it's skin or not. Yeah. yeah. yeah that works. But I usually do it on another layer um, just in case. I could get with that. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't make another layer. It's I know fine. People like to scream. <gasps> you didn't do, you that do another, another layer. layer. It's fine. We believe in what we're doing, so right. it's okay. Well, the whole point of another layer is so you can go back. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not going back. <laughs> not going back. Right, so you I'm, can't now. I don't need another layer. <laughs> but absolutely, by all, I'm not telling you not to use another layer. If you want to use another layer, use another layer. Yeah. 
They're free. You can use as many as you want. <laughs> Very nice. Make them shoes look good. What's going on here? Paint. That is paint. So That's any paint. way to smooth all of that out is much appreciated. Beautiful. Checking the chat. Now, the thing that drives me crazy is, ha I didn't mean to switch to that, the, is having to go back and forth between, I'm using patch and, and mm -hmm. spot healing all the time. So one, of, one of, and this is brand new setup of Photoshop, so I hadn't had a chance to do this yet, but it is gonna drive me crazy unless I do it, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go into the edit menu, and let's go to um, toolbar. And what I want to do is I want to customize the toolbar just a bit because it's literally driving me crazy going back and forth. And I know I could use a keyboard shortcut to cycle through them, but I'm going to use that a lot. I'm going to use that a lot. So see how I separated them out so they're no longer buried under each other anymore? Nice. And um, I probably use that a lot, even though I don't, I'm not using it today. I'm not going to use the note tool. I'm not going to use the ruler tool, I'm not going to use the count tool, I'm not going to use Get the 3D, right, here. just take it off the toolbar for now. I'm not going to use the slicing tools. So this way you can create a custom toolbar with just the tools you need or work with on a regular basis. I'll separate those out. I don't use that, I don't use that. Um, and, by all means, the tools that you use the most, why not move them closer to the top? So that way you're not having to constantly go down the toolbar looking for them. There we go. And where's my, um, my, 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 my clone stamp tool. There it is. Getting real set up over there. Well, it's just, I got, I got to do this for two more days, so. I know, it's might as well. Oh, no, 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 up there. This is great. There we job. go. Okay, so now we'll save this uh, as a preset, and we'll call it uh, T-White uh, Retouching. T-W Retouching, save. Nice. All right, so now, done, and now the tools are where, where I need them to be and what I want them to be. So just take a few seconds to do that on your copy of Photoshop so that you will be able to work faster. Beautiful. All right. I saw some other paint mm -hmm. anomalies over here. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big one. I know, but it's it's just oh, empty yes. space. Yeah, it's easy. Isn't that so satisfying? I know, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm going to get this whole thing yeah. right now. And now it's like working with a roller <laughs> as opposed <laughs> to a brush. I can paint this whole wall in two <laughs> strokes. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Good, good, good. You guys did a good job. Thanks, Michaela. I like this. How are we doing on time? There was a timer there at one point. I don't know. Chris will probably tell me. All Thank right. you, Chris. So I feel like there's only two more things I want to look at. Otherwise, oh. I would love to still play with the shoes and the detail, and maybe we do some dodge and burns, okay. or like where we can highlight um, part of the shoe, Great. and then play with the shadow, and maybe we can we can burn that in. Maybe we can sharpen it up. I don't know. We'll All right. So when you that. do your dodge and burn, do you do it on the the actual layer, or do you do it like on a, on a Copy of the layer? Do you do it with like a color blending mode? How do you do it? I typically uh, make a new layer and fill it with 50% gray. Oh. And then I, I use my brush at different opacities of black and oh, white. I didn't mean new documents, sir. Yeah. Uh, That's let's what I do. do. New layer. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to change the color of it. I don't want to change that. We'll go ahead and. So then I'd go to edit, fill. Yep. Edit, 
fill with 50%. 50% grays, so contents. Oh, you can just do it at the top there. Yep, 50% oh, yeah, gray. Oh, yeah, that's true. There you go. And so um, I think you need to change that opacity. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yes. Now it's 50% 50 50%. Percent of 50%, 50% percent, yeah. right. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Uh, Phil, shows how much I use this feature. <laughs> There's so many ways to do the same thing. It's great. I didn't need Did I not do something? Hmm. Right, let's try that again. That's probably pilot error. New layer, edit fill, just go straight to the 50%. 50% mm -hmm. gray, yep, normal. Not doing it. Why are we not getting 50% gray? Mm. This is weird. All right, let's do it this way. That's odd. I'm feeling this. <gasps> I feel naked. <laughs> oh, I know why. Hey. I know. Something was selected. Oh. Yeah, and when in doubt, deselect Command D. Nice. And All then right, I so changed the blending mode. Let's do that one more time. Soft light. I just want to verify that I was right. So deselect. When you're using the patch tool, it's easy to leave like a little tiny selection that you can't see with the naked eye. And let's try it now. Oh, nice. there it is. Okay. There you go. All right. And so you want to change the blending mode? Blending mode is soft light. Soft light it is. It's right under overlay. Yep. There we go. Yep. And then I just play with the black and white brush at a very um, low opacity. All right, so you mean burn or? Nope, just a brush. The brush, mm -hmm. okay. So brush on black. Mm -hmm. Okay, add a lower opacity, like? Like a eight or a 10. All right, just a 10. And uh, let's just brush in the shadows a little bit on the, the backdrop. So here? Mm-hmm. All right. What brush am I? It's a cool looking brush. I know. <laughs> it's, it's Kyle brush. Kyle Webster brush. That's why. And it's on smoothing. Which we can take the smoothing down. Mm -hmm. Is that making a difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. So we can play with that. Looks great. Cool, cool, cool. You're the customer as long as you're happy. <laughs> cool. All right, how's the chat looking? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. All right. No outstanding questions. All right, let's go back out. There's another shadow there. Yep. Let's do like a nice big brush and. She does. Thank you. Right, Beautiful. You Perfect. <gasps> Contest time. Oh. Wait, what do we do? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. And All then right. I would just say let's find some places to highlight the shoes and maybe bring out a little bit more um, detail to catch the eye. Well, maybe like in there. I'm thinking there. I'm thinking yeah. the top of that shoe. Okay. I'm thinking the top of or the the top of uh, so what do you want to switch to let's go switch to white brush okay and um, same layer just maybe like you want 10% nice opacity here. still let's see what that looks like it might okay. be too much oh, that's not bad. nice perfect okay. and then i would i always just follow what already is there so just kind gotcha. of like amplify that situation Subtle differences. Subtle but good. Subtle but good, yes. Yeah. And then I would love to see just like on the top here. So I feel like you'll look at that first and then. Your eye always goes to the brightest thing mm -hmm. in the photo. Nice. That last one might have been too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. Cool. And then let's look at the bottom shoe. All right. Perfect. Where do you want to go here? Let's go like right here. Yeah, and really amp this one. I feel like that's so pretty. All right. Yeah. So I'm just releasing each time, building it up in layers. 
Perfect. That looks great. Want to do a little here? Yep. All right, cool. All right. I like it. Oh, it came a long way quickly. I know. Yeah. Uh, if we feel like this might be a final, I always do a little bit of a, a high pass filter at the end. Okay. That I'd love to, I'd love to do. If you merge everything, yep. And Good. then go to filter. So what, I'm sorry. I forgot, I forgot, I was in teaching mode. Mm. Undo. So, I want to do a high pass filter, but I want to do it on the combination of the layers that we just did. So, the quick keyboard shortcut for that on Mac is Command Option Shift E, PC Control Shift E, and that will make a merged new layer of everything that was below it. All right, so now we'll go to filter. Mm -hmm. Other. Other. High pass. High pass. Okay. And then let's toggle it a little bit. Let's bring it a little bit higher in terms of the radius. All right. Let's see what that looks like. A little less than that. Maybe like 20. 20 it is. Thank you. Perfect. All right. I say OK. And then I'll change the blending mode to soft light. And then we can use the opacity to, to change that up. So maybe take thinking? it down a little bit. It's looking a little crunchy, but I like I like the feeling of it. 70? Let's go 65. 65 it is. So I feel like that's bringing out the details a little bit All more. Right, yep. What do you think? And if we go, well, we can look at it before and after. So yeah, see how, look at the shoe itself. See how much sharper and more detail these areas got by turning that on versus off. Yeah, so and it feels more in, like a, a print too, which is nice. So that's off, that's on. Yeah, makes a difference. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome. Cool. I like it. Wow, good job, everybody. Yeah. As, 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 you know, you're the one that did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, with that said, let's segue over to the contest, and I'm, you're going to have you go through the entries. Okay. And you're going to pick a winner. Okay. So, the way, what they were tasked to do is, is shoot a portrait or have a portrait, and <clears throat> use Lightroom CC to do the editing, and then show us the before and after. So you can go through the entries, mm -hmm. but they're just in, loaded in the tabs here in the browser. So okay. that was entry one, entry two, so forth and so on. Got it. Oh, where's the second photo? Yeah, yeah, oh, there it is. I see. I feel like that's the after. And then how do I get back? Oh, there there we go. go. Nice. Bring out those details. Nice. Oh. Someone, Jeremy uh, named this one. That's great. Oh, mm -hmm. baby, why are you on those train tracks? The world's <laughs> worst parent. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Joking. Joking. Hey. Was that, this was the starting one? That's the starting one, yep. I, I think I know my winner. Am I, can I tell you? You can. You got your winner. This is my winner. All right. And that is submitted by, if you scroll back up, we'll see on the left, upper left. Noel. Noel. Congratulations. And what does Noel win? A year worth of Creative Cloud. You get all of these apps to play with for a whole year. Dang. Dang. That's good. I know, right? Good job. Way to go, Noel. Congrats, Noel. Yay. Hey. Okay. Back to us. Okay, All right. we're here. <laughs> so, we're here. so we left off. Um, is there anything else you want to do to this in Photoshop? Hmm. Um, I don't think so. All right. So now the process is, uh, again, uh, you can merge the layers if you want or keep them if you feel like you're going to come back to them. So we'll keep them. We'll save. Uh, we'll close this. And because we saved it, closed it, and Lightroom CC was still open, it should return it. Where were we? It should return it and put it with the original. And for whatever reason, I don't think it did that this time. I think I'm cursed. Yeah, what is it with you? No, I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> like it's that a thing. worked. It's a that thing. worked perfectly twice before. <laughs> All right. Well, we know we saved it, so it's there. Let's go ahead and just simply add it. It should be. Ooh, it's not even in the same folder. Where the heck did it put it? 
Let's go back. Oh my God, it's not in the recents. This is a mystery. Where did our photo go? Oh, All right, no. let's go find it. Second session, recovery. <laughs> let's go find I know I saved it, so it's gotta be there. It's not in the same folder. That is weird. There's a ghost in the machine. All right, what was that one called? That was like Ashley. 27, right? The last it had one. to be 27, so let's see if we can find it that way. Operating systems telling me that it doesn't exist when I'm looking right at them. Ashamed. <laughs> All right, this is the weirdest. I've never seen this before. What is going on here? Let's do this. Is that not? That's not the one, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, that's why. We were in, we weren't in that album when we did this. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Is that it? It looks like it. It's all crap and stuff. Yeah, this is it. No, that's the, that's uh, the unedited version. Hmm. Unedited in Photoshop version. Got it. I'll edit that in Photoshop again. I just want to see what it's going to do. I'm interested. Let's go make another copy. Mm hmm And it did. And you saved as a TIFF? I just, yeah, it saves as a TIFF automatically with the layers. Mm hmm And when you saved out, it saved as a, a TIFF as well. All right, I just want to see where it puts this one. So let's do, uh, let's just duplicate the layer and save it. So save it, close it, switch back to Lightroom. And yep, it put it in that time, stacked it with the original. Mm -hmm. That's what it's supposed to do. Awesome. We just need to know where it put the last one. So let's go do this. Let's go to where Lightroom keeps the uh, recent photos. Pictures. I know. Crazy. That is so bizarre. All your work. All my work's on this computer. <laughs> it's just a matter of where. <laughs> yeah, it's not even showing up as a recent there. This is so weird. See what happens. Let's do it. No, it says they're both in. <laughs> this is so <laughs> weird. Uh, previously weird. added, previously added. Okay, let's do this. Open it. Cancel up, this. Okay. Let's go back to all photos. Because that means it's here. I see two and two. Yeah. 
Yeah. There it is. Okay. So that was here, just hiding. This is like, I've never seen that not work. <laughs> of course. That'd be crazy. Okay. We so did it. We did it. We did it. It's there. It's where it's supposed to be. Just what I had, the mistake that I made was not starting from the album, but starting from one of the recents up here. Mm -hmm. If I had started from the album like I did the last two times, it would work fine. All right, Almost but there it is. Attack, it, cool. I, well, I knew it was safe, so I knew it was <laughs> on the drive. If I hadn't saved it, then I'd be worried. All right. Um, so let's just make sure all of oops, let's make sure all of these are in the project folder. There we go. Oh, there we go. So now it's adding them. In. Awesome. So now they're where they're supposed to be. They're here. And at this point. If you were, if you wanted to now take what the work you've done and share it out of Lightroom, you could of course share this album as all the contest entries have done. You also have the ability to save the photo. When you do a save photo, that lets you export it out as the original tip in this case, or as a JPEG with whatever settings you want, small, full size, or custom. So if I'm gonna put this on Instagram, they want 1080 pixels on the longest edge and save and that would be my Instagram photo ready to go. You also have the ability, to, of course, to save it directly to Facebook. Awesome. What do you think? I'm so proud. You, you, you guys did an amazing job, that's great. Thank you. And if we were to share your album, we would go in and right click, share album, and that will generate a URL for the specific album. So. You'll be able to just share that with others or clients. That's they awesome. They can see everything. All right, we got four minutes left. Any last minute tips, tricks, parting words? Hmm, that's a good things question. Things you want to try, things you want to do. Um, I feel like we we did a really good job. I'm very happy with it. Did it in an hour. Yeah, that's insane. That what is do you insane. think, PK? You like it? Yeah. She likes it. Um, no, I think it's great. I like that we had a lot of variations and we ended up using only one image, which is pretty crazy, rather than comping it together. Um, but that's definitely an option. So if you ever don't like something, just use a different um, a different image and put that into that same shot. Mask it out. So it that, by the way, that's one more tip. Um, when you do your edit in Photoshop and you come back to Lightroom CC, and it'll be there, stuck with the original like it's supposed to be. If you want to edit it again in Photoshop, you can. You can bring it up just like I did. I brought it back into Photoshop. Uh, the layers are there, everything's there, so I can keep working on it. The only time the layers get um, merged automatically by Lightroom is if you edit in Photoshop, <coughs> come back to Lightroom, and then start doing Lightroom adjustments. Mm. Then it won't make a, it won't be a layered file anymore. Okay. So if you want to keep it a layered file, but do something else to it in Lightroom, make a copy. All right. And that way you'll have it when you come back. Perfect. All right. Um, what else? Go team. Go team. Two minutes. So we're gonna do for two minutes. I have a question. Sure. So sometimes in Photoshop, I'll I'll create a layer as a smart filter. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something that you can do in conjunction with using Lightroom, or do you think sure. you don't even need So, like, for example, well, filter? it depends. So, like, all the edits we did to the original before we went to um, like, before we went to Photoshop, those are, like, what I like to refer to as my non-destructed mm -hmm. original. Yeah. So I could go back, undo any of that, undo the vi vibrance, clarity, or whatever. But once I go to Photoshop, if I want to keep what I'm doing in Photoshop non-destructive, that's when I would work in layers. I would also work using smart filters. That way, when I go back to that layered file in Photoshop, all of that still applies. Okay. So if we edit that again. Like the camera raw filter specifically. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I use that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here, let's open that up in detail. Yeah, that one, that's the one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, edit in Photoshop. So now, for example, let's say you want to play with it, you want to make a merge copy, and you want to use that camera raw filter, so we would convert for smart filters. Yep, I know, thank you. It 
it's doing it, it's made it, and now if I go into the filter menu, go to camera raw filter, and I wanna do something just crazy so people will be able to see it, let's just go crazy with the saturation. Okay, cool. I know I'm hurting your eyes, but it's okay. <laughs> Click okay. okay. And that is now a smart filter applied to that that can always be turned Perfect. off. Or so I can go back tomorrow and say, what were you thinking? Go back in, turn down the saturation. Perfect. And maybe make that. And then you're like, what was I thinking? What was today? I thinking again? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then and you eventually just delete that or turn it off. Awesome. So good to know. Yes. I learned a, I learned a thing. You learned a thing. Well, every day if you learn a thing, that adds up. Yeah. yeah. All right, so go back. So that layer tiff will keep building with every, every change we make to it. All right, folks, we are just about to wrap up for the day. We thank you for joining us for day one. We've got two more days of this. You're going to come back tomorrow. Tell us what you're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing portraits, uh, mixing continuous and strobe lighting. I've never done that. I know. Successfully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also back in three hours. Oh, that's hours. right. Tell us what you're doing in three hours. Um, in 11 seconds. Uh, <laughs> Pekela will join me as well. And uh, we will be doing iPhone photography or mobile phone photography. Um, so that's it. Stay her. tuned. Three hours from now. Check her out.